What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another St. Nick promo break off the board. 2021 Panini Contenders Baseball. This is a 12-box case break, random teams number two, and it's also a new release, guys. So we have six combo teams, which is the A's, Brewers, D-backs, Mets, Nationals, Rockies, Blue Jays, Cubs, Giants, Indians, and Twins, Dodgers. Of course, also great odds and an amazing price for a St. Nick promo spot. So again, um, here's a dice roller. Here's a customer name. So from Jared down to Allen, you're going to get a random team there. And at the end of the break, we'll randomize the customer names only. The top two will win a spot in the St. Nick promo. And just like we did in the last break, if there's any more redemption, or not redemptions, any more points, we'll just give them out from three and so on uh, for the list randomizer. So here you go, guys. Here's the dice roll. Let's roll it. Boom. We got ourselves a full 12, six and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Eric down to Brian Smith. Twelve times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Kansas City Royals down to the New York Yankees. Aaron with the Royals, Nicholas with the Pirates, Allen with the Braves, Adam with the White Sox, Marlon with the Orioles, Cardinals, and the D-backs Mets combo with the Red Sox. Jared with the Brewers Ace combo, Nicholas with the Tigers, Marlon with the Cubs Blue Jays combo, Robert with the Phillies, Marlon with the Rockies Nationals combo, Corey with the Astros, Kyle Harper with the Dodgers Minnesota Twins, Dennis with the Rays, Adam Coverman went with the Cleveland Indians, San Francisco Giants, Cody Kennedy with the Rangers, Corey Christian with the Mariners, Chad K with the Reds, Nathan with the Padres, Michael with the Marlins, Adam Coverman with the Angels, and Brian Smith with the New York Yankees. All right, if anybody wants to trade, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Jared saying Brewers and Ace for Twins. Which would be a combo team as well. Dodgers and Twins. So, actually, Jared, if you only want the Twins, you would have to get the Dodgers with it. We're not going to trade only one team out of the combo. It'd be a combo spot for a combo spot. So, we're not going to complicate it and take only out the Twins and then give the Brewers and Ace to the Dodgers owner. It'd have to be the combo spot for the combo spot.
No thanks on Philly. Alright guys, I don't think anybody is going to pull off a trade, right? I feel like I've given you guys more than a minute. So let's just close the trade window then. Alright guys, so like I said, after this, I don't know if we'll have more contenders up today or not, but again, uh, if you guys want to uh, try to get some of that impeccable done, we're just random number blocks away, guys, and again, the Patriots are like a $1,200 team, so for $159.99, 160 you also get a piece of the Cowboys and Eagles, which is not a bad deal at all. And then an even better deal with the Bucks, Cowboys, Packers, Eagles, Lions, Washington football team in the next R&B for impeccable. So let's get those rolling, guys. And here's the customer names again with the sheet. So this break pretty much takes me about an hour. So we'll pretty much be done with this break by 6.15, which still gives us another four, maybe five hours, of course, if we stay a little after 10 o'clock to like 11, like I usually do. So plenty of time, guys. We still have more than half a day left by the time we get done with this break. And I know a lot of people, it's Friday, Friday night, some people out and about, some people still working here on the West Coast. Could pick up a little after 6 30 7 o'clock at night which is which is probably like 10 o'clock at night in the east coast <clears throat> so plenty of time guys i'm not too worried but early and often is when we can get these breaks rolling gives more momentum for the rest of the night skim through the base because it is just base cards and we got a Willie McIver Colorado Rockies combo Martin with that one Luis Urias rookie ticket Devi Garcia for the uh, New York Yankees that's Brian Smith Francisco Lindor, Brian Van Bell, BVB. Um, that was for Boston, going to Martin. That's why Willie, good old Willie. Yeah. What's up? Look, I'm ready. What does that have to do with anything? We're going to go snorkeling. Oh, well. Yeah, don't we already have those? No. Paradez. You bought some. When? When we went to Cabo. Where, where are they, Jason? I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Remember, remember don't, don't open and use it so much because then you're going to be like Dominic. No, these are different. These are magnetic. Oh. They're better quality, to be honest. Dolls and Jeffries. Oh, you guys have the zipper one? No, it was like... Wasn't it like a Ziploc bag? I don't remember which way it was, but it worked fine. It's just my nephew kept on opening it and closing it, and then eventually the water started going through. These are magnetic. I just uh, tested it. I, run it. I put it in the sink. Full of water? Yeah. Try it with a full bowl of water. No, well, the sink is pretty deep. It's a 
supposedly says uh, like 900 feet. Or 900 feet. feet. Underwater. I highly doubt that, but we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'm not I'll gonna sink that low, you know. Maybe Jason. Ah, you gonna go down 900 feet? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're gonna go five feet. <laughs> Nico. Ready. That's a new one there for the Colorado Rockies. Season ticket, Tyler Glass down. All right, next box. Drew Waters. Atlanta. Alan Murdo. And I don't know if that's a scratch or something, but on the Isaiah Kiner. Edward Colina. Minnesota. All right, so again, this will probably most likely go to number three, unless we get a bigger points. We'll keep that to the side. Andy Page is number to 18, playoff ticket. Playoff. Uh, that was actually going to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Just got Kyle Harper. Michael Burroughs for Pittsburgh. Pitt. That's going to uh, Nicholas. Out of 99, Baltimore Oros. Madrigal. Very nice. Rookie ticket there for the Chicago White Sox. What an Adam Coverman. To red.
149. Isaiah Connor. Key Brian Hayes. Very nice rookie ticket there for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Going to Nicholas. Salt. Ben Bowden. Oh, we got some more points. 600 points now. Nice. Cody Whitley. St. Louis. George Guzman. Yona. Texas and a blue John Means All right, guys. Next box. Is that right, Nick? Yeah. I mean, it happens. For some people, I'm, I'm horrible luck for them. So, it's kind of good that we kind of bounce around, right? Joe's off for a couple days, I go on for a couple days, then I'm off for a couple days, I go to Instagram, you know, and Joe's back on, so. But yeah, happy I'm your good luck, Charm, but I'm pretty sure to some people I'm their bad luck. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going, guys. Next one. Luis Gonzalez for the Chicago White Sox. Chicago White Sox, that is uh, Adam Coverman. Matt Olson. Andre Scrub, and look at that. Another cracked ice. This time it's well, second catch. Is it first cracked ice, just say, for this case? That is for Houston. Houston Astros, Corey. And another color card to 99. See? There you go. <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, I my goal is to obviously hit for everybody at some point, but sometimes it just never happens. Another points two fifty. So another two hundred fifty points. I just didn't say another, but two fifty. Well, at least this one's giving us different points. So we have like six hundred, four hundred, not two fifty. Better than like one fifty, obviously. Boom, 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 boom. Will Crow. 
That is for Pittsburgh. Pirates. Nicholas again. Whoa! Look at that, guys. I love when this happens. It's like the cutting machine. Just got to take this out. <laughs> A one of one right there. Corey Seager. Edward Kalina. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it seems like a very a lot for sure. I feel like, yeah, these they didn't get any redemptions, but there's like, after we're just gonna give out some, some points, I guess. Out of 15 diamond ticket, that is, uh, Sandy Alcantara. And a Christian Pache. You know, Adam, you that is actually a good good theory right there. Not that they didn't get any shorter redemptions, but they go, whoa. We're giving out too many autographs. So let's just kind of uh, put in uh, some some points instead of autographs. That is, I mean, that could have happened too. But yeah, we only have a sample size of two cases. But honestly, after a couple of cases, you can kind of figure what the kind of... What it kind of is. True, Chad. I mean, honestly, those man, those cosmic and sparkle packs now are like five thousand points. I actually have saved up like thirty five hundred or four thousand, and I was like, cool. Like, I, I'm gonna get one of those cosmic packs. But then no, like, then I have to get a couple more points, or right? I have to get another thousand points. And usually they were three thousand or thirty five hundred a, a pack. Now they're five thousand. Like, Jesus. But yeah, sometimes these points are pretty valuable, though, honestly. Especially when they have those packs out there. They'll go up in price. I think they say, what, like 5 to $10 for like 150 points? So, you know, 600 points is actually probably better than most autographs, to be honest. Luis Angel Acuna. Jose Trevino. Man, I've been waiting for a Miles Sanders case hit uh, patch autograph from Prism to 25. And I finally opted to get something replaced. But it's legit. Whoa! Jason Dominguez. Ayo. 24 out of 99. Like, when am I going to ever get my box or something? I feel like I should get points or a box at least. I've got every other Miles Sanders I redeemed a year or two ago, but I've been waiting on this one for almost two years now. <laughs> it's like, when am I going to get some points instead or give me something? Yankees with that one, Brian Smith. So, oh wait, hold on, Chad. I just read that. I just read that too fast. So, in your black box, which is supposed to be one of ones, you ended up getting three thousand points instead of a hit. That's kind of cool. San Diego Padres. I've almost, I've got it on my other Miles Sanders. Like Miles Sanders ended up signing like last year, early or earlier this year in twenty twenty one. Ended up signing all of his, like, contenders tickets, the stub, you know, all that stuff. But 
for some reason, he never signed or they never got his autograph, Peter Solomon, uh, for the patch autographs in Prism, the case hits. Which I really wanted that for my collection, but no one's ever got them, so. Oh, you meant black box. There you go. Gotcha. I was a little confused there for a second. Louis Robert. And another 250 points. I remember the most I ever seen in a break was 15,000 points one time in a group break. That was pretty that was pretty nuts. 15,000 is the most points I've ever seen. I mean 15,000 points, Jesus. Dude, man, Mike White for that one week. Jeez, his RPAs were going for nuts. Did you really? Did you end up selling it, Chad? How much did those go for? Mike White was like on the top of the world for that one week. We were comparing himself to Manning. I mean, that was the time to just get rid of it. Literally just sell it, make some really great money, and that was it. I see another point right now. This time it's 150. Sandy Alcantara. Whoa, Joey Bart. Very nice rookie ticket. That is for the San Francisco Giants. When Adam Coverman. All right, Freddie Freeman. And wow, this is our first high school or draft pick college. Hunter Goodman. Memphis. So we'll look that up at the end of the break, but this will go out to whoever this team is affiliated to. Really? Okay. 
okay. I might be interested in that, man. I mean, I just feel like it, he hasn't really got much playing time, and I don't think... I think he's kind of regressed a little bit. I don't know. He played a lot his rookie year. I don't know if somebody took more of his spot, but... I want to say someone told me that he kind of just hasn't really played much. But he's pretty good, man. He was really good at Oregon. Wow, another one. Building blocks to 10. Dalen Lyle. John Meats. <laughs> TJ Anton Cincinnati Chad K and whoa what is this out of 99 first rounders Benny Montgomery for Colorado Cody Bellinger out of 99 I know Chad it's okay you can cough it up to me it'll have a good home I don't want the coup but I'll take the duck All right, next one. You know, there was one Husky that I did like when I was playing football in high school. My football team, uh, we had those exact same colors as the Washington Huskies. And we even had like purple pants, purple jerseys, and we had a white away jersey, uh, gold pants and stuff. So, um... I always, when I was playing football, Jake Locker was so good. Like, I got to see him, I think his, I think he, he, he left as a junior, right? I got to see him uh, his last year, I don't know if it was junior or senior, but I think it was junior, uh, when they upset USC here in LA. I used to be a big fan of Jake Locker. Really wish the guy would have uh, produced more in the NFL, but I know he just kind of went, had a little rough time, but he was so good. Yeah, my high school team was pretty much Washington Husky colors. Jackson Clough. Mike Trout, season ticket, red. Dane Dunning for Texas. Um, well, if, if I remember correctly, I know he had, he kind of lost the love of football. But I know also, too, he was kind of getting a lot of injuries. But was there another main reason that I maybe I didn't hear? I know it was more like he just didn't love football anymore. Addison Barger. Toronto. Tommy Edmund. Jacob DeGrom. Jesus Sanchez. Rookie ticket.
Christian Javier. Number to 75 for Houston. Houston Astros, that is going to Corey Christian. Whoa, really? So it was the opposite? Oh, I didn't remember hearing that. He was like a football junkie. Brian Van, uh, Van Bell. But I know he was consistently getting injured though a lot. I think that's a lot to go through too. Rehab all the time. He was getting he was getting beat up in Tennessee. Well, good for him. I think sometimes you have to make that big decision in your life. And, you know, lucky for him, I mean, him being a first rounder, top 10, that first guaranteed money check. And he was probably, what year was he drafted? 2009 or 10? One of those years, right? Right before, I think they cut off like Cam Newton, I think 2011, right? Or no, I think it was 2011, wasn't he? One of those years um, where he made a boatload of money in that first rookie contract without even touching the field. So, obviously, a little bit easier to kind of, you know, kind of make that bigger decision because, I mean, obviously, even if you made only $10 million, I mean, still, $10 million goes a long way, especially, like, if you're not living in California, <laughs> you know. So it kind of makes the decision a little bit easier. Spencer Howard. But, yeah, I mean, it's just – and I don't know, obviously, if you have a degree like Andrew Luck and, you know, like Herbert and those guys, I'm sure – they have a little life after football. So, I mean, do you know what he's doing? I don't know. I don't know if he, what he ended up doing after all this, but. Oh, really? He had a rich family already? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It kind of makes it a little easier decision. We got to 75 of the Seattle Mariners. Draft ticket. Sure, an apostle. Draft ticket of 25. Another one for Texas. Cody Kennedy with that one. Adonis Medina. Johnny Walton. And we have a Salvador Perez to ninety nine. Miguel Cabrera to one forty nine. And a Keston or Heston Kerstad. Very nice. Prospect ticket there for Baltimore. Uh, that's Martin.
Alright guys, four more boxes left. So again, when I get done with this, just gotta take like five, ten minutes to turn out labels again, upload the video. To my knowledge, I've only had one order come in in the last like 30 minutes while I've been breaking, guys. Which has been uh, Richard, I believe. Let's see what Richard got really quick. got the Rockies in Bowman Inception so again uh, would love to try to get some more of those promo breaks rolling guys I mean we're just RMBs away from selling out two more promo breaks and I know like I was trying to say you know buying some of these teams straight up is probably a little bit better than the getting into the random number block because you also get the opportunity to win that spot in the in the promo but I think for the most part most customers already grabbed spots straight up so I mean hey big team like the Patriots I'm sure a Mac Jones is worth more than 165 bucks, you know. Devontae Smith is probably close to that. And, you know, and then you also have, like, the uh, Cowboys hits in there. So, really, th th re uh, three really good teams in that random number block to get in on. Spencer Strider. Again, we still have to sell out those breaks anyways for the promo. So, even though you're not going to get a promo spot in those RMBs, you're still going to get a monstrous hit. I'm sure a Mac Jones is going to be, whew, really good money, of course. We got a Christian Javier rookie ticket, a little chrome for Houston. No, they do not, Logan. That's why I was telling people, obviously, to uh, try to uh, get it straight up. Videos pausing? Let me see. Hmm. Let me see. One second. Let me turn off this camera and restart it really quick. Good now? Maybe it was the camera? I don't know. That was weird. All right, well, that helps. Sorry, guys. Uriel Gonzalez. For Detroit. Did that help a little bit? Adam Cover say seems better. Out of 99, Nicholas Castellanos. Tariq. Leody Tavares. Joshua Cornelli, New York Yankees. I mean, New York Mets are.
All right, next box, guys. David Peterson, very nice. 7 out of 10 diamond ticket for the New York Mets. It's a nice one right there. You got Marcus Morris. Uh, Novaldo Rodriguez for Houston. Chris Rodriguez for the Angels. Diamond ticket. 2 out of 15. Angel, if I haven't called her name. Adam Coverman. Tyler Stevenson. Willie Holmes. Another one there for the Angels. I should have one more autograph here. One more right after this. Anthony Rendon to 99. That's three straight hits there for the Angels. Jazz Chisholm. Nice rookie ticket. We have Marlins. Michael Joseph. All right, two more boxes, guys. Drew Robinson. Monte Harrison. Vladdy. Cody uh, Poteet, three straight for the Marlins right there. Carlos Correa, blue. It's 99. Draft ticket at 149. Flavor Torres for the Yankees. And Spencer Torkelson. Come on, Spencer. Let me turn around. Prospect ticket for Detroit. Torp. Nicholas with the uh, Detroit Tigers. Jack Flaherty, red. And Dalton Varsho to 99. Diamondbacks combo going to Martin. Cameron Robertson. You have to 99, Ryan Weathers, Rookie of the Year contenders.
Alright, last box, guys. Good luck. Brent Rooker. Jonathan Hughes for the Philadelphia Phillies. Future stars, Jeter Downs for Boston. Number 299. Um, most likely no. I don't know if it was in the item description or not, but most likely the veteran base probably won't ship. Which, there's not too much veteran base. I think the majority of it is mostly inserts. So, like, if I had to say this veteran base won't ship here. You know, like this stuff here. But then the blue foil will ship. Obviously, that's an autograph. That'll ship. Ooh, nice cracked ice, too, as well. Dodgers. That's going to uh, Kyle Harper. And then obviously this is an insert, that's an insert, that's an insert, that's an insert, and then these would be inserts too, so. If I remember correctly, no veteran common ship, but I'll double check with Nick. William Contreras, playoff ticket, playoffs, 2 out of 18. Another one for Atlanta, Alan Murdoch. Kyle Lewis, Refractor, or Silver, I should say. Curtis Terry. And whoa, that is a gold Mitch Hanniger. Which should be out of 10. 9 out of 10. Very nice. Our last autograph should be hiding right here. Nelson Cruz to 149. And it is a Sicto Sanchez. Very nice. 14 out of 18. For the Miami Marlins going to Michael Joseph. Nice bit of ender right there. All right, let's quickly look up those two high school cards right there that we got. All right, so let's quickly pull a group break checklist, which I have it right here. And the first one we have was Dalen, which is under the Washington Nationals. So there you go. Washington Nationals. And then the other one is Hunter Goodman, which is Colorado Rockies. All right, perfect. So there you go, guys. So again, uh, remember, top two in the randomizer right now will get uh, the points. Or sorry, we'll get the spots in the promo. But for the points, the way we're going to give it out is we'll go 600 going to number one. 
We'll go 400 going to number 2, which again would be 3 and 4. So number 3 on the randomizer gets 600. Number 4 gets 400. Number 5 gets 250. Number 6 gets 250. And number 7 gets 150. So again, I think we ended up getting 5 points uh, in every break. So the first break we had 5. The second break we had 5 as well. So Top 7 will get something. Of course, top 2 meaning they get the big promo spots, but... Got all of these right here. So let's switch scenes and do that. So again, here's a dice roller. Here's the customer names again. So remember, top two get the promo spots, and then three through seven get uh, some points sent out of them. So here you go. Here's a dice roller. Let's roll, and we got ourselves a one and a six seven times. Good luck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And the top two Adam Copperman again and Chad K. Congratulations. Woo! Copperman. So seven times. Congratulations. So Chad and Adam are gonna get spots in the promo. And then Michael Joseph, you're gonna get six hundred points. Nathan Smith, you're gonna get four hundred points. Martin, you're going to get 250 points, as well as Corey Quishin at number 6, and then Eric C. at number 7 will get 150 points. But congrats to the top two, guys. You guys are now in the promo, so you guys are guaranteed something from the St. Nick promo. Appreciate it, guys. Jaspies, casebreaks.com. And let's actually quickly put this, put you guys in here really quick for contenders number two. I know, it's the same Coverman promo. <laughs> All right, so there you go, guys. Appreciate it, everybody.